Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video we will talk about Excel macros. All the professionals working in the field of project management and other fields as well usually send out the same reports in a timely manner. For example, you send out the weekly progress reports to your line manager. In most of the cases, all of those reports follow the same template. So if you receive data in a specific format and then you work on that data every single day or every single week to ensure it meets the requirements of the template or the organizational process assets, it will take some time for you. Thanks to Excel macros, which help us to reduce the time consumed by the repetitive tasks. Let me show you how does it work. For example, this is the report for week one of your project. The activity names are given. Plant percentage completed and actual percentage completed of each activity in this week is given. The management wants a bar chart report of this data every single week. Let's insert the bar chart for this. As per the management requirement, the color should be like this. Besides that, we should have the data labels shown like this. And the legend should be shown at the bottom. So format legend will go to bottom. Moreover, they want these bars to be separated. So we will separate these bars by 43%. This is something the management want. And for example, this project is for months or maybe years and you are sending out weekly reports each week. And it will be hard for you to do the same repetitive task the end of each week. For example, the same should be prepared for week two, the same should be prepared for week three, and so on. So here is why we use macros. So I will delete this for now. And as you can see, there is a menu called developer here. But if it's not visible to you, right click down here, select customize ribbon, and ensure that the developer is tick marked here. If it's not, for example, see, the developer will vanish. But if I right click again, go to customize ribbon and click on developer and OK, we have the developer. When you click on the developer, you can see the macros on the left here. Besides that, down here, they have the macro recorder for you on which you click the recording the macro recording will start Please ensure that you follow the right steps when recording the macro and if you do something wrong throughout recording the macro your macro won't work properly when you run it on other tables so let's start how does recording the macro work you can start recording the macro from here and you can go to here and start recording the macro too so I'll click in here, as you can see, what's the macro name? I will give the macro name like create charts. Please bear in mind that you cannot give a space in here. So you have to either write it down as a single word, or if you're going to give a space, use the underscore here. I will use it as a single word. Besides that, you can assign a shortcut key for your macro. When you want to run the macro, that's the shortcut key that you will use, and the macro will run automatically. For example, I will use Control plus B. And if you want to give some description for your macro, you can write it down here. So this amount of information is enough for us. We will click OK. As you click OK, recording of the macro starts. So at this stage, be careful to follow the right series of steps. For example, what I am going to do is click on the activity name. Then in order to select all this area, I want to use the method of, I want to use this method by just dragging down my mouse. Instead, hold Control, Shift, down arrow key and right arrow key. Then go to insert to 
columns create the table. And here be careful to not click anywhere else outside of the chart area on the screen. You can, you can change the color and design and layout from here, it, it won't matter. But if you click here, your macro will confuse the chart names. So now, what I want to do is, I will go to layout, the legend should be at the bottom, and the data labels should be shown on the outside end, and moreover, the color of this one should be, go to format, color shape fill should be for example in gray and let's right click and format data series this should be minus 43 percent this one is okay let's close it so as you can see we obtained this bar chart now click anywhere on your screen come here stop recording the macro your macro will be recorded. So now as the macro recording is finished, so we have a macro. If you come to developer and click on macros, we will have our macro here, create charts. We can run it on the next charts and other reports now. I'll close this. I'll go to week two. If you remember, the shortcut that we selected was control plus B. Please make sure you click on the activity name in order for the macro to run properly. So once this is done, let's control plus B. As you can see, the table is created here. Let's go to week three. Let's select the activity name. Let's come to, let's come to macros, run macro same information will be shown on this table as well. So basically macros in Microsoft Excel help you to reduce the amount of time consumed by repetitive tasks. If the information in this video was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.